Hey guys, I'm back. It's Friday and it's been about a week since I did my last video and uh, so much has happened since the last video. On the last video I rewatched it and um, I didn't have any words. I kept saying I have no words but the, rea the reality was I had plenty of words. They just were words that um, you know, I didn't want to use because, you know, I still kind of care about my mama and what she thinks and how she feels. And, um, you know, I don't want to disappoint my family or like, you know, bring any kind of shame to my family. And so the words that I did have didn't support that. So I just didn't have any words. Anyway. So I have the words now that I'm comfortable using on camera. And so uh, it's been a very tumultuous week, guys. And what I have taken out of all of this is that I am so proud that a week has passed and we are still protesting. Now we have gone on a protesting roller coaster. There were peaceful protests. Then the rioters came, then the looters came and the media attempted to deflect the reasoning for all of this, but we stayed on task. We stayed on task. The protesters continued to protest even with the the even with the presence of the police even with the violent presence of the police they stayed steadfast they continued to protest and from that we ended up getting all four of those animals um placed in custody and charges made we were able to and i say we because i feel like we all played a part in it we were able to get uh, officer, uh, ex-officer Animal Chauvin, um, his charge was upgraded to second degree murder. And um, those other three animals are about to flip on him because that is probably going to be their best opportunity at a less lesser sentence. Anyway, with all that being said, it has literally and figuratively set the world on freaking fire and I'm here for all of it. I'm here for all of it. Um, I've been posting on my social media the things that um, I feel in my spirit and so if you follow me on social media you know where I stand on all of this that's going on. I believe that all of it is necessary. The rioting, the looting, the burning, the protesting, all of it is necessary. It is exposing this, um, this horrific system that we have been living under all this time. It is exposing it and, and, and there's no running from it. There's no hiding from it. And I just want to give a shout out, you know, because I've had to gather myself and take inventory because I was mad. You know, I was furious at the whole situation and it had me and i'm just be honest it had me looking at at people sideways that i probably should not have been looking sideways at but i don't know you know i don't know them like that and i don't know so at this point in my mind you're gonna if you don't look like me you're gonna have to show and prove for there to be any type of trust garnered by me that's just me that's how i feel that's how i operate so, um, yeah, these, the, the modern abolitionists that we have that are down for the cause, thank y'all. Thank y'all. We need y'all. We needed you then to abolish slavery. We need you now to change this systemic racism that we have running rampant through our country. So thank y'all. You know what I'm saying? But play your position. You know what I'm talking about? Play your position. The spearhead of this thing is 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 us. Okay, so you, I'm, this is how I feel. This is just me speaking on how I feel. 
Everything that's going to move forward needs to be spearheaded by folks that look like me. We love your support. We want your support. We need your support. We do. But let's all, let's keep this in perspective. Okay? Keep this in perspective. Um, man, it's so much that has happened. Today is Breonna Taylor's birthday. It would have been her 27th birthday. The animals that came rushing into her apartment and shot and killed her have still not been um, fired. They have not even been fired yet. And they are um, not arrested. That has got to happen for these protests to die down. And frankly, I don't want the protests to die down. This is going to be a long-standing uh, commitment that we need to make. That's the other thing that I want to say. This is not going to be something that happens overnight. This is something that has to happen in the course of elections. You know what I'm talking about? In the course of elections. So um, keep that in mind when wanting and asking for change. Keep that in mind. This is a long process. It took years for this system to be in place. Years, decades, centuries we've been living this way. So it's going to take a while for us to improve it. Now, granted, we're in 2020. Technology is different. We can get things out to the masses much faster, much quicker. But people still have to unite. That's one. And act. That's two. First, we have to be informed. Okay? That's the prerequisite for everything. You must be informed. You must be informed. So I am hopeful um, today. I've gone through a gamut of emotions uh, since my last video, but today I am hopeful. And um, you know, we've got a lot going on. So check on your people. Also, I want to shout out my family members who called to check on me just because they know how um, emotionally involved I can be on subject matters of this nature. So shout out to my people in LA who are actually on the front lines. And they are not on the front lines as protesters, actually. I have family members, um, immediate family members, and um, you know, um, relatives that are members of the police. And so, it's a very emotional time for me. You know, I love my people in L.A. And the good thing is, um, my people in L.A., they know the deal. Like, there's no conflict in the spirit of my people. They know they're black first, but they also recognize that they are blue. But they are the good blue. And that's the other thing that we do have to realize within this fight. There are some good police. Actually, there are more good police than there are bad police. What we need to happen is we need to weed out these bad apples because they will rot the entire force, which is what we're seeing. These bad cops are showing themselves over and over and over again. What it's time to do at this point is to get rid of them get rid of them and as police officers if you're an officer it is your job to protect your job in the right way don't cover a bull don't cover a bull your job is to protect and to serve your job is to diffuse now, don't get me wrong. There are criminals in this great USA of ours that need to be policed, that need to be brought to justice when they do dumb criminal stuff. So I'm not a person that's not an advocate for the police. I'm just against bad, rogue-ass police. That's what I'm against. Like, uh, like my brother said, wearing that uniform is a privilege and an honor. You know what I'm saying? So... People should treat it as such and not 
um, not misuse the authority that they have. And that's what we're seeing. A lot of cops misuse their authority. That's the part that needs to be weeded out. That part. You know, I see a lot of people talking about defunding the police and blah, blah, blah. I don't know how I necessarily feel about that. I, I like the, the fact that they are moving this money around to, um, to much needed causes. But, you know, a police officer is, is, is kind of like a teacher in a way. They don't get paid for risking all that they risk. There's a reason why it's a lot of rogue motherfuckers out there. They have an attitude because they are risking their lives. That's just that's just the truth of the matter. So I'm not going I'm not here to bash the police as an entire um uh force. I'm not here to do that. I'm just saying they need reform. We need reform. We need we desperately need police reform because it is it, it is an honor and a privilege to wear that uniform. All the kids who got bullied and beat up uh, in school, it is not your fate to become a police officer and, and take that out on civilians because you can. not Yeah, them punk asses, they need to be let go. You know, I don't know what kind of procedure they go through for becoming a police officer, but their psych evaluation should be tightened up a lot because it's a lot of folks that are wearing badges and carrying guns and batons that's some punk asses had they not had that you know anyway so um i'm not gonna be too long but it's been a while since i've been on here and it's a lot that i want to say um you know drew breezes in hot water sports are coming back slightly there's been a few weekends that um the ufc has had bouts, and actually this weekend, Amanda Nunez is fighting. She's probably going to beat the dog shit out of um, the girl that she's fighting. I saw her before, and she done, Amanda going to beat her up. Um, but sports are gradually coming back. The NBA has decided that they're going to resume schedule at the end of July. So, you know, that's giving us something to look forward to. COVID is still looming over us. <laughs> while all this other stuff is going on. So it's just a very interesting time in American history. And if God blesses me to stay here another 30, 40 years, I am very, very um, interested to see how this event is going to be written in the history books because it is, it is a critical um, transition in American history that's going on right now. And um, 2020 is going to definitely go down as um, transition year for this country. So um, that's all I got tonight. I'm not gonna be too, too long winded. Um, but yeah, this, this is, this is, uh, it's good. It's a good thing. I mean, you know, as far as I'm con concerned, they can burn this, they can burn it down to the ground and, and we can start all over again anyway. Because the thing for me, what I, the way I reconcile it in my head is, you know, um, my ancestors built this place anyway. So if it's burned down to the ground, it can be rebuilt. That's how I feel. That, that's how I feel. And, you know, I have empathy for the people who lost their business or, you know, whose business got destroyed or whose business got jacked up a little bit from this. But, um, yeah, you can rebuild. If, if I've heard numerous um, businessmen, I've heard numerous legal businessmen and illegal businessmen say that, you know, you're not a real hustler unless you've lost it all and regained it again so you know you got to get it how you live you know that that's what insurance is for that's how i reconcile it i might be wrong i don't know but that's what my mind says it's all needed it, it's uh i have a i have a clip posted on my facebook and this this lady she 
expressed exactly what was going on in my mind. It's like she just opened up my brain and let out everything that my my brain was thinking. Everything that I've been thinking over the past few days, this lady said it. And she likened our experience here as black people to a game of Monopoly. And it was just brilliant the way she broke that thing down. It was absolutely amazing. And those are my sentiments. You know, some days I'm empathetic. Some days I'm spicy, fiery, hot, and mad. And I feel like, you know, we just need to burn this, burn this place down to the ground and start over. Um, some days I'm sad, like today was a sad day. I saw a message that um, Ahmaud Arbery's mother posted for Breonna Taylor because she had just experienced her son, uh, her son's birthday um, back in February and um, he was not alive to celebrate it. And so Breonna Taylor's mother is going through the same thing today. Her child would have been 27, but she's not here to celebrate it. And there's nothing that she did. She wasn't sick. You know, she wasn't breaking the law. These people, these, these young black people were killed in, by, by, by monsters. And so, um, you know, my emotions just have been all over the place. And so, again, I will say, y'all, uh, your mental health is important. You know, I just had to step away and take a break because it was, it was a lot, you know, it was a lot. Keep in mind, um, I'm still working. So, you know, I'm, I'm on, I wish, I, I'm on a, I, I wish, I wish I'm the wood kind of time. That's where I am. So I say a little prayer every day before I go into work because if the wrong thing gets said, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I do not know because I'm stressed. Stressed. Anyway, um, you guys try to have a, uh, a pleasant weekend and I will see you all back next week. I'm not making any promises as to when. I'm going to try to get on some kind of schedule. But um, yeah, those are my thoughts for uh, tonight. And um, glad to be back. You know, need to get this off. But um, you guys be good. Love on your people. Check on your people. Check on your people. Thank everybody who checked on me during this time. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. I appreciate it. I really do appreciate it. To my people um, on the West Coast, to my people on the East Coast, um, and my people down South that are rocking with me. Thank y'all. I really appreciate it, and I will see you all next week. Be good.